So now, finally, when we move into adding in the lunge step into your pendulum, first we need to go over the mechanics of the lunge. As Summer steps out, pay attention to how she's moving parallel with her shin on her back leg. She's maintaining perpendicular action with that upper leg in the, on the back leg, and she's not moving too far, deviating the knee over top so that she can maintain midfoot balance. If you could step out one more time. Notice how she's maintaining that midfoot balance in order to project backwards. When we add the swing, the swing begins, I mean, cast it out into your front pendulum. When she captures that lunge, order position is caught in that lunge step. So with the crown to coccyx alignment, she keeps her, her arm lock in tight so that her core can lock down and make this a full body exercise. That's why the crown to coccyx, coccyx alignment is so important. When she adds in another club bell, the two club bell action requires a little more stabilization from the core. As she casts it out and begins, she'll capture it on one leg. So you're marrying the club bell, straddling that leg maintaining midfoot balance so that you can drive and push the earth away when you recover step. Co crown to coccyx alignment each time so the club bells don't pull you out of alignment. Moving on to two-handed. In the two-handed action, it's the short arm that needs concentration. Now watch how she keeps it in order position as she moves through the lunge step, casting it directly out, getting full arm lock. Each time recovering back into good projection with the hips, snapping forward, good exhalation, midfoot balance to get full leg drive, and crown the coccyx alignment each time that she recovers. 